Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to be considering how to create castellated holes on a beam rafter just like this in Tecla structure. The holes are of various diameter, so we are going to be creating it as the diameter varies toward the narrow end of the beam successfully. We will create that, so stay tuned, stay connected as we get started. So at first, you have to look at the grid lines where the beam are. As you can see, the beam is at grid line A. So we are going to be enabling by going to the window and then view list right there. Or you can do Ctrl I on the keyboard to get this view list. Select the grid line A, take it to the visible view, select the 3D view, and then take it back to the main views successfully. Just for us to enable the view of grid line E. Click on OK options. And then we need to tie this window vertical so as to maximize it. Go to window and then select tie vertical right there to have it maximized just like this. At this point, we proceed to the edit because we want to start to create a construction lines that will help us to actually create the holes on the web of this beam. Go to the edit right there. And navigate to the constructions uh, object, select in the drop down menu and then pick line. And so we pick uh, two points along a uh, grid line one, or we can actually select to make sure we change the color for visibility right there. We change it to red. So you select two points along grid line one right there to have uh, the construction line. The next point is along the uh, connections right there. So pick that point, and pick the next point to have another construction line. We will create another construction line again on this other side of the uh, beam successfully. So we pick two points also to create a construction line right there just like this, okay? Now the spacing center to center, just right click and interrupt first. The spacing center to center between the uh, holes are 500. Uh, so we have to offset that, okay? We will be offsetting that. So what we need to do before we offset, we go to view, uh, work plan, and then click on this uh, parallel to view, click right there. So you can see we have set work plane to this view, Y axis in the uh, vertical direction and X in the horizontal directions. We draw to view and then we will now start to offset that. Select the construction line, right click, copy, linear special, okay, and then the offset is going to be in the X direction 500 and we have multiple of 10 of that offset. Click on copy. Okay. All right. So now we have this successfully. We will now start to offset. Uh, right click and then interrupt that first. After which we get to the edit again and then select the uh, construction line. We are not really going to use a construction line because we need to get the midpoint of that provisions. Okay, so we right click and interrupt that. We will be using point. Okay, so select on the point right there. Pick the first options. Uh, pick that point. Pick the second point so that we can have the point at the center of that uh, line successfully. So the same thing applicable to this edge because we need another construction line that will pass through the centroid of the uh, beam successfully. So click on the OK option, right click and interrupt. So we navigate again to the construction line and then pick the line options, pick the point right there that we just created, the first one. Go all the way to this other end and then you have to select the second point to have the construction line just like this, okay? Now we can start the offset. So we'll be having a openings of diameters are uh, 200. So the radius is going to be 100, okay? So we'll be offsetting 100. Select the construction line. First right click and then go to copy special linear. And then you type in in that provisions 100, okay? And then it is only one uh, copy. So click on copy right here. You can see, click on OK options. So this will serve for that particular 
provision, the next provisions, and the third provisions. Okay, so from the fourth provision, we have another hole of different diameters. Okay, so select that one, right click, copy linear special. In this, we have a radius of 75 uh, millimeters, and then we copy, click on the OK. This radius will also serve for the next three provisions. So the other provisions right there we right click again and then we go to the linear okay now we have 50 in these provisions offset copy and then click on the okay all right so those are the radius we have just created we want to start to create a cycle now since we have gotten the radius okay go to the construction object select in the provisions you see a cycle pick it there pick at that point extend it to the radius that we just created and then click to have the cycle just like this the same thing applicable to the second cycle we created just like that and then the last cycle we create it also just like that okay so after which we want to start to create openings so we need to go to the edit and then you get to the uh poly go on to the polygon uh options right there so you pick the edge of the cycles and the intersections with the construction lines okay just like this to create an opening just like that so you can see that the opening created in the flash like this is not actually going to be cycle you can use any shape square or uh, depending on what you actually wanted but in this video we are looking at cycle so see how we can create to create select that snap point Select that snap point. You can see in the shape dialog right there. Type select there, and then you have to choose arc point. Click on modify. You can see that provision has been extended to cycle. The same thing applicable to this other edge in order for us to be able to have a cycle opens just like this. You can see. So this we are going to select and copy it to the next two provisions. Okay, so use copy options. And then you pick it at the center, take it to the next two provisions, okay? Just like this. So you can just right click and interrupt this for now. All right, so we be creating another cycle using this diameter that is smaller than the previous, all right? So you use this polygon options to select the web first. You must first of all select the web of the uh, beam before you now select the four edge successfully just like this to have uh, the opening just like that then select that line and pick on the snap point to have the shape select uh, this is round you're supposed to select arc point okay that is the option click on modify do the same at this other end click on modify successfully we have created this so we need to copy this all right to the next two provisions just like this and that one okay so we interrupt that and then we proceed to create the cycle in this particular provisions successfully so we use the same process we pick four points after having selected the web of the beam successfully just like this right click and interrupt and then select that click on the snap edge and then change it to arc point successfully modify to have that cycle the same thing applicable here okay arc point modify to have that cycle right there successfully and then after which select on the hole created and then you have to right click and use the copy options okay pick on the copy and take it to the uh, next two provisions successfully okay to have that hole of that diameter okay just like this so you can see that we have been able to create a hole successfully okay along the uh, longer axis of the beam rafter successfully we want to create it on this shorter axis so we have to just use a copy special linear and then we used an offset of uh, since we are going to the left, we have to preface it with minus, okay? So this is 300, if that will be enough, copy, okay? That is much, so let's change that to 200, all right? So that we can actually have close to the center of that beam, successfully, just like that, okay? Click on the 
okay options right click on enter up select that first uh, line and delete it up because we don't have need for that all right now we need to find the center point of that uh, beam so we used uh, point go to the edit and then go to point we use point the first options you select that okay and then pick two point to create that point at the center of the narrow end and the wider end so we can use construction line to connect the two points successfully so we have the center reference point for us to place the uh the opening successfully right click and interrupt this successfully so at this point now we want to proceed click on the ok options and then uh, click on offset we need to create a hole of a diameter 200 so use 100 radius click on the ok so you can see right click and interrupt that successfully now we can go to the edit tab go to the construction object pick a cycle and then do a cycle of radius 100 just as we have offset it successfully right click and interrupt okay now go to the edit again use we use the polygon cut right there and then select the web first and pick the four edge of the cycle as it intersected with the as it intersected with the construction line successfully just like this and then you have an opening you that same method select the line and the edge select edge okay and change it to arc point click on modify to have that cycle in that directions setting applicable in the opposite direction successfully and see all right so after which that is it we have successfully created and hold on this uh on this uh beam rafter successfully we will get right of the construction line so if you need a special uh training on the tecla structure you should reach to us we will train you from a to z on tecla structure successfully okay we we'll train you to professional level master level as well techno structure okay so we will get right of all of the construction line right click and with your view to have the you can go to the view list and then enable the 3d as well uh, take back the green line elevation of green line e tie it vertical successfully so you can see it so this is how we create this type of uh, uh design and after which we will now have to copy it to the uh, remaining provision successfully okay but in this video we are only depending on focusing on the creating the uh cancellated holes successfully which we have done do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe to this channel soft raising and stay tuned for more video of this kind see you in the next video